Now let's go ahead and locate and examine the new board support package files. In order to do this, from the file menu, I select open. Make sure that you choose files of type to be all files. That means asterisk dot asterisk. In order to do this, we need to navigate to the drive in which we have installed the platform builder 5.0 or Windows CE 5.0. In this scenario, I've already included uh, this particular drive to be located on my C drive. So I double click on it. Under this particular directory, there is a particular directory, subdirectory called platform. And as you see, originally Microsoft, part of the original installation of my board support packages, part of the installation of Windows CE, have given me CEPC, Common Emulator, and GOD, which is a different company. ICOP Vortex 86 underscore 50 basically would be the new board support package that we have installed. This is the platform root folder for your new board support package. This folder should contain three separate files. Let's double click on it and see them. You have DERS file, you have ICOP Vortex 86 underscore 50 batch file, and you have sources.cmn file. It should also contain three subfolders. As you see, CE Sysgen, Files, and Sources. The board support package wizard copies all files from the parent directory. The contents of your folder may be different if you started with a different board support package or if the ICOP Vortex 86 underscore 50 platform has been built previously. So in order to do this and examine a little bit more, uh, let's go ahead and double click on ICOP Vortex 86 50 batch file. By doing that, we are launching the text editor of the platform builder. And as you see, this is just simply a text file, which includes only some environmental setting. This particular uh, document basically entirely consisted of some statement which said or clear some environmental, uh, environmental variables. The platform builder calls this file during the build process. The environment variables values control the details of features included in the runtime image. Make sure you do not modify this file at all. Simply select File and Close. Now, let's go ahead and open up a different file. As you see, since I've already set the files of types part of the platform builder, it's already set to asterisk to asterisk. If it is not set, make sure that you have selected this option. Let's go ahead and navigate to a different directory. This time, I go ahead and navigate under the public directory. Below that, there are many different subdirectories. We are looking forward to see the common directory. On the common directory, we double click on the OAK. It stands for OEM Adaption Kit. Under that, we have the catalog. Under the catalog, there's a CEC file, which stands for CE Component Files. As you see, ICOP Vortex 86.5.0 has been included in here. This is an ordinary text file, and you can open it in a Platform Builder Editor by clicking on it, or you could open it with a text file. The structure of the catalog item files is very sensitive and modifying the file with an ordinary text editor is not recommended. So let's go ahead and open up the ICOP Vortex 86.5.0 CSC file. By opening it, as you see, the text editor will show the content of this file. Please do not modify this file at all. Just wanted to show you that originally ICOP Corporation has created this CSC file, which basically dictates how the board support package needs to be added part of the catalog. That's what this file is all about. And also we can click on the file and uh, basically go through different sections of other CECs such as the CEPC for example. This is a component that Microsoft has provided for CEPC. This is for generic CEPC files. You also have uh, basically other informations like for emulator just in case if you choose to go with the emulator Microsoft also provides the emulator board support package in this exercise we only care about ICOP Vortex 8650 
please do not modify it select file close and make sure that the content of this file will not be modified by any chance